seen you in a while All I got is memories, man, this just made me cry To see you, I would die I wanted to elevate with you to the skies But you just had to die Like, can someone tell me why? Why you had to die? I can't believe it, maybe it's a lie Like, why? Tell me why you had to leave Without a sign, and now I hit myself cause I ain't even say goodbye. Bad blood, you parted, and now I can't say sorry. What have I done? My heart feels sorry. I feel hard for you. You reversed all my heart. I feel it deep and taking years and make up. Before you went, I swear I felt I lost it. Uh, and now you with the stars, now I tend to go. Uh, I lost one, but what does it feel like to? My heart's been with you in two. Cause death comes what you try to Yes, hello. And um, we're back, and today we're inside the 2019 Nissan um, Navara. Um, welcome to another review from Stanton Performance. Hope you like, subscribe, share with your friends and family. And um, yeah, let's get into the review. To see you in a while, all I got is memories, man, this speech just made me cry. To see you, I would die, I wanted to elevate. So yeah, we will be starting off with this key, right? So this is the key that you get with your Nissan Navara. And um, upon looking at this key, you do see that you do get that Nissan badging all over the key. However, it's a pretty, it doesn't say Navara. Hmm, don't like that. However, um, we do have the buttons over there. You got your unlock and your lock buttons, which has got um, that silver finishing. And then at the, at the back, we have, do have that plastic um, finishing as well. However, it is a really, really um, proper key. However, it just, I just don't like the quality of it. And then, however, we do also have the grippy steering wheel as well. Mm, yeah, this steering wheel, I really like it. Um, you, you can actually tell that you know 4x4. Um, we do have those buttons um, on the steering wheel. And then those buttons do actually control um, the stereo as well. So so if you do click um, the volume down button, you will do see that um, it does respond on the stereo as well. And then if you click the volume up, and then it also does increase. So it shows how efficient those buttons do work on the steering wheel. They're actually very, very efficient. And um, it does really have a nice um, look on the steering wheel. Navara did do a really great job on the steering wheel. Um, it is really, really nice. Even the fuel is very nice. So yeah, the Nissan Navara is um, a really, really nice bike. We do have that nice cabin and then to complete it, we have that six speed manual transmission as well as that steering um, I was talking about with all the buttons and features as I mentioned. So yeah, I believe it is actually worth the buy. I don't know what you guys think about this. We also do have the buttons where you can control um, whether you would like to answer the call or not um, using that screen that we were talking about earlier. So yes, um, right here we do have the radio or some of y'all might call it the smart radio or the infotainment system, right? So yeah, um, this is um, a really nice radio. Um, it does have Bluetooth connection, Bluetooth audio, you can connect your aux as well. And then it's actually a pretty easy system to actually use. Um, it's very, very easy. I won't lie, even my granny, even a young kid can actually use this system. So you can also connect your, U your USB, you can connect your radio, you can play your DVDs, you can play your music. Um, it's also got navigator. And um, yeah, but the only problem with this radio is it is a bit too slow. However, as I mentioned, there's the aux cable over there and then there's your Bluetooth audio and your Bluetooth devices. And then you can also um, use the side buttons to select your radio or either you can select uh, music and it's gonna play whatever is displayed. It could be your USB or whatever. Then you get your navigation. Um, just that it takes a bit of time. I don't know why it takes so much time just to load. Um, then let me just try and click it again. There we go. So you see what I mean when I say um, the navigation takes so long to load. However, um, I do see that it is powered by TomTom. Tom. And then, yeah, and then, okay, that's just a message, just ignore that. And then, yeah, but um, it is actually a really, really easy to use um, radio. And um, I don't see you having difficulty with um, using this radio. And it does also have that um, black piano finish and as well as those um, volume control knobs. And the other one is for like changing your station and selecting options. And then there we also have um, your, your hazards, the button for the hazards. Then we got that nice designed um, dash that um, only, I believe this design you can only find on Navara, which actually does look nice. 
so yeah um and then we do also have storage right here on the dash where you can actually place your keys um you can put various things you can also put your spectacles and um it is actually a really really nice um well thought um storage place and the bucket does also seem very very high so um you can actually tell that you're in a very very big car and then we do have the dash um it's got this plastic film it is actually a hard plastic which is actually a really really smart idea from navara i like the way they thought about this because since this is a bucket of 4x4 you'll be using this bucket to go off-road and as well it's going to be full of mud and the interior is going to get dirty so if you do have your windows open um instead of um getting all that dirt um splattered on your leather dash this is plastic this is how it's so it's easy to clean so you won't um really really stress about um damaging your dash since this is just plastic. so you just slide like polish in there just clean it nice and make it look shiny again so this was really really um a really really um good thought from all these buckies so it's not just the navara that comes with this um plastic dash we do have some other buckies within the segment that do also come with this um type of dash the nice um door panel this does actually look nice you got the chrome um handle to open the doors then you got that over there for the passenger so you can put like, your hot air aircon and all that then oh you got a cup holder it's a very nice cup holder you got cup holder so for those that like putting their things then a big seat for the front passenger so the front passenger will actually sit very nice i won't lie it's got this um bucket it's bucket seat like it looks like it's a bucket seat but it's actually a comfort seat so i like that and i also like the pattern it got, it's got this nice pattern in it this does actually look nice i won't lie and then here we got this is a manual transmission it's a six speed then also we got your reverse here so so yes, um, as I mentioned, this is a 6-speed uh, manual transmission and this car you can also find it in a 7-speed automatic transmission. It's just that with this option, this car came in with a 6-speed manual transmission and it also has um, your storage over there where you can store your keys. This is actually cup holders, however, we've been using this to store our, our keys, right? And um, so yeah, it is a really, really um, full of um, storage areas. Um, and then here we do have um, the buttons where you can have your heated seats as well so you can control that over there so that is um, a really really um, convenient feature for the Navara just don't mind my twin seat over there so yeah um, it is a really really convenient feature so where this is the options where you can actually use to control your um, heated seats right and then we, there we also have some extra storage as well where you can actually place your coins so if you do see I took my 20 cents and I put it in there <laughs> So yes, it feels very, very well. Just that it takes, um, it is a bit hard to get the 20 cent out of there due to the um, the size of that storage. Um, however, it is a really convenient um, storage. I believe you can also place your phone over there as well. And then here we do have um, extra storage as well. And then there's the aux cable I was talking about and there's the USB part as well. And then um, you can also plug in, um, this your cigarette lighter, but you can also plug in your extra accessories as well over there. So um, yeah, as far as concerned, um, this cabin is a really, really nice um, cabin. Navara did think about this. And then over there we do also have your basically your climate um control unit this is where you control your fan speed your heaters your aircon and all that right so yes and right here we do have our push start button um since this is a keyless entry so you just click on that then um, the display does become on and then you can see your cluster and all your warning lights and all that and if you push that button again and then it shall start the car and then back to that unit um we do see that we do also have um that digitalized um unit right which is um, a really really nice feature from navara i really like how they actually thought about this this so here you can actually adjust your um temperature you can either switch on your icon or switch it off so it's really up to you If you put your leg on the brake, right, and after putting your leg on the brake, then just click the button again, the car starts. And then, look at that, that looks nice, then it displays that whole Nissan, um, that whole Nissan dashboard, right? So this does actually look nice, I won't lie. Um, it does actually look nice.
so there are some other options that you can choose from from this segment right you can either choose the mercedes x-class or either the isuzu um d-max or as well we do have the ford ranger or you can either go with the toyota hilux okay right here and then we also have um the storage and then here we got lights with which control like you can switch on your lights and everything these are all the displays and you got these um small like book lights which are actually they actually do look very nice at night and then here we've got where you can put your sunglasses and all that so we got storage i feel like you can also find this in the hilux the toyota hilux i believe also has this so this is actually a really nice feature um so in case if you're that type of person that likes um storing your sunglasses on top of the roof and then there we go you got storage um they built that specially for you even if you got like glasses for eyes and all you can just store your glasses right here so you don't forget where you put them so it is really really nice so yeah moving on to the back seat <laughs> this is the part um unfortunately each and every park itself as you see there there's barely um, no space right um from and that's my actually my uncle's driver's position so yes these buggies at the backs they do not really have space i believe it's because of um all the um, load bin at the back so the seats can't even recline you can't even do anything so yes at the back you just sit so upright like um you sit very very upright and if you can see over there as i'm sitting um there's a lot of um space between my thighs so you can't really even rest your legs so for a long distance this is not really convenient and if you do see as i mentioned that the seats are very very um upright so you can't even recline them due to that um load bin at the back so we also have um the ventilation system at the back um so this is where you can control whether you'd like to close off the vents for your um for the air that's coming in from the front but unfortunately you cannot really adjust um whether if you want cold or hot air the only thing that you can do on, at the back you can only um, just close and open them that's all Right, so moving on to the exterior, right? So with the 2019 Nissan Navara, it's got a payload of about um, 960 something um, kgs, so which is almost a ton. And then we do have a towing capacity of about three and a half tons. So this is actually a really, really capable four by four. So yeah, so here I do attempt um, to open um, the Nissan um, Navara's um, back door basically. <laughs> so yes, um, so one thing about it, it's not actually um, electric. So you all actually do some weightlifting over there. And then so that, there is that load bin I was telling you about. So I will put the stats on the screen um, compared to other 4x4s as well as to how that um, mismatches. However, it is actually a really, really uh, big load bin for the size of a bucky so So yeah, now we will be looking at the headlights, right? So this does actually have a stylish front and um, we do get those um, nice spotlights and as well as those daytime LED lights. And um, look at that. Oh, that looks very nice. And then we also got that chrome piece as well with that Nissan badge and that huge bumper. As you turn on those um, bright LED lights, you can see that um, the the Nissan Navara does actually have exceptional um, lights so I can say that the front does also look uh, exceptionally good so yeah
bem rápido. Ja, le Rêve. Till it's cool, just cool, into the mouth. Nice. Seen you in a while. All I got is memories, man. This peach just made me cry. To see you, I would die. I wanted to elevate with you to the skies, but you just had to die. Like, can someone tell me why? Why you had to die? I can't believe it. Maybe it's a lie. Like, why? Tell me why you had to leave without a sign. And now I hit myself because I ain't even say goodbye. Bad blood, you parted, and now I can't say sorry. What have I done? My heart feels hard. I feel hard, feels like the green reaper stole my heart. And I was in the deep and taking years of liquor. Before you went, I swear I felt that lost there. Uh, and now you with the stars, now I tell it look up. Uh, I lost one, but what does it feel like to? My heart's been with you in the tomb. Cause death comes when you try to knock you down. When it comes on, it's gonna knock you down. I haven't seen you in a while. Got his memories, man, his speech just made me cry To see you, I would die I wanted to elevate with you to the skies But you just had to die Like, can someone tell me why? Why you had to die? I can't believe it, maybe it's a lie Like, why? There was a lot I was looking for till I found you You're in my heart forever until I die to you It can be real, you cannot be living so soon Can be my brother, so fuck it, yeah, you're my mom too I really miss in my heart, I feel it beating. You know the feeling. Tears dropping, the heart is bleeding. My eyes locked on the casket. Now I must be dreaming. And little brother is asking, don't know what I'm dealing. I really don't know what to do. I got my eyes open, reminiscing over you. Yeah, somebody walking is you. I got my eyes open, hoping I will see you. Yeah, I haven't seen you in a while. All I got is memories, man. This peach just made me cry. To see you, I would die. I wanted to elevate with you to the skies, but you just had to die. Like, can someone tell me why? Why you had to die? I can't believe it. Maybe it's a lie. Like, why? Without a sign, and now I hit myself cause I ain't even say goodbye. Bad blood, you parted, and now I can't say sorry. What have I done? My heart feels hard. I feel hard feels like the green reaper stole my heart, and I was in the deep and taking years of liquor. Before you went, I swear I felt that lost there. Uh, and now you with the stars, now I tell it look up. Uh, I lost one, but what does it feel like to? My heart's been with you in the tomb. Cause that's
comes on, just try to knock you down When Eve comes on, just gon' knock you down I haven't seen you in a while All I got is memories, man, this speech just made me cry To see you, I would die I wanted to, well, a 